Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and just going to share a haul with you. I got this Hanukkah stamp from Simon Says Stamp because I didn't own any and I thought it would be good to have some in my stash. And then I got the newest card kit which this must be January 2024. So I'm just going to run through and show you what came in the kit. So you get a glue stick. These are pretty good. I just used them um, in an upcoming project. This holiday cheer die set some embellishments some a couple of envelopes one in red and one in a, like a cream color then the coupon code that is good um, for five dollars off the Simon Says Stamp ideology sticker book which comes with a bunch of different sentiments and like strips which are really cute. There's a really cute candy cane one in here that I absolutely love. Um, I like using these, especially if you're in a hurry. Um, so after I go through what all of these items are, I will look at that. That's, yep. I'm going to make two very fast cards using this sticker set and the embossing folder. Um, so this is the pattern paper that came in the kit they are double-sided i absolutely love all of these they have a vintage feel um, i just posted a video using similar paper to make an ornament shaker card so these papers would work great for that um, so if you haven't seen that i can link that at the end of this on the end screen um, this could be framed you add a little bit of greenery on there and that would be really cute some cut aparts and then I missed one page. And there's the last bit. And then you get this awesome metallic red cardstock. Absolutely love this. And then this embossing folder is ornaments. Oh, the candy, of course. The ornaments, I'm going to take it out and show you, but it's hard to see, but I will show you on the back of the packaging. It does give you a better idea of what that looks like. And isn't that gorgeous? That's what I'm going to use to make these really fast cards. Um, after we're done here and then the stamp set with this lovely tree and snowflakes big bold sentiments absolutely love it they always give you an idea sheet to give you some inspiration and then there's some cardstock in red a kind of cream color and then this very deep green it's so dark it's almost black but it is a green color and then these are from Tim Holtz as well they're these little frames and they have stitching all around the outside of them and they left the the string hanging on the end of them these would make adorable shaker cards so when I use this Again, I think that's what I'm going to do is use the pattern paper and these frames to make some shaker cards because this would be a good way for me to use up some of the embellishments that I have in my stash. Um, so that is the contents of the kit. If you are interested in that, I got it from Simon Says Stamp. So I am taking this embossing folder and I am going to use that awesome red specialty cardstock. And I have cut this down to three and three quarters by five. So it's, you know, got a good border around it. But look how gorgeous that is. I'm going to, and I'm showing you here, I, I had done it in white because I have a bad habit of doing the embossing folders backwards for some reason. <laughs> don't know why I don't get it right the first time. Um, so I'm going to adhere this down directly to a card base. You could add some pattern paper um, to give it a little pop, but I decided to do just the thicker border on this one and then I'm going to take that ideology sticker set and pull out a Merry Christmas sentiment and that is going to complete this card that quick and easy and it is so wow because of the foiled paper and embossing I absolutely love to use these 3d embossing folders on the foiled paper I didn't spray any of these I know some people miss theirs with water I'm um, I don't typically do that and I don't have any issues um, but if you're finding that your paper's cracking and you're having issues just give it a little mist of water and that will help soften the fibers and they say you get a deeper impression I'm just too impatient and just go straight to the embossing folder so I am going to fix this because I put this sentiment down crooked of course um, fix that and that's that one done and so I decided I'd take this white one and I would use that since I had embossed it and done it correctly. I mean, with the white one, it wouldn't have mattered. I could flip it and use it either way. Um, but then I will take a piece of the pattern paper that says Merry and Bright, and I'm going to trim this down with my guillotine trimmer to five by four and a quarter. 
no, five and a quarter by four, sorry. And I almost cut it incorrectly. I cut it to four and a quarter, no, I'm sorry, five and a quarter this way. And then was getting ready to cut it to four and realized that that's not the orientation that I want my card. So I then cut it again at five and a quarter and then cut it down on four so that it the words are correct. So then I am going to adhere this to an A2 size card panel after a moment of silence of gonna ruin Santa. I didn't realize that was on the other side and I trimmed it out actually perfectly without even looking at it. So unfortunately, i had already committed that I was using this piece. So I'm gonna adhere it down with some liquid glue and then gonna start gluing down the other panel, but realized just in time that I had cut this to the exact same size as my pattern paper, so that was not gonna have any border if I didn't trim it down a little bit. Um, so I make this to be the same three and three quarters by five, so that I have a little bit of a border to show some of the pattern paper underneath. And then I will take one of the red sentiments from that same Tim Holtz ideology sticker set and add that as my sentiment and I have two really fast cards I've literally in under 10 minutes shown the you my entire order the contents of the kit and two quick cards so if you are a last minute crafter like I am and need some ideas for holiday cards you could definitely bang these out without any trouble if you needed to get a bunch of them done so if you have any questions feel free you can leave me comments down below i'd be happy to get back to you and if you have any project ideas or things that you would like to see from my channel going forward definitely feel free to leave those for me down below and i hope that you like these projects and as always I hope that y'all have a great day.